I came here to London and looked at all the studios that were available. Elstree was closed at that time. EMI had closed it, and there was nothing going on here. I looked at Pinewood and Shepherdon and uh, Ealing and the others that were open, and Pinewood would have been ideal, I suppose, if they had enough space, but they, they had too many commitments. So I moved on. I went to Paris, and I went to Berlin, and I went to Rome, I went to Budapest, I went to everywhere in, in Europe that had uh, reasonable sized studios, and um, almost settled on Cenicità in Rome, but the Italians uh, don't know how to be quiet and let shoot live sound. They dub everything, so they don't care. To, and they, they sound, the sound stages aren't soundproof, really. So I, uh, I decided it couldn't really work that way. I came back to London, and um, one of the Fox people said, well, what about Elstree? And uh, so we uh, met with the, El with the EMI people, we looked at the studio here, and it was it would have been it was ideal. We had eight, nine sound stages, and uh, workshops and things that go along with it. And so we made a deal with EMI, a four wall deal, where EMI would provide security and electricity, and we would bring in all of our own staff. And that's what we did. And, and uh, after the first Star Wars. And, Leading up to the second, they, you know, I decided to actually reopen the studio formally, and they did, and we did all three Star Wars films and the Indiana Jones films, and then there were other films too. So it kind of react helped reactivate the studio.